Wish the hotel came with me, didn't ya? The Oscars. Bouncy. <laughs> been angry at people who do because anytime somebody opens up a bag of beef jerky it just makes the entire room reek y'all what up real me clipping my hair to keep it bouncy cold brew on deck if I don't feel like doing morning pages, I will work on a review of a movie or a book. And today it's a movie. Today it is Maestro. Watched it last night and enjoyed it a lot. But that's that's biased, given that I liked Tar and I just love that world, the orchestra, assholes, pretentiousness. It's it just it's just my field, okay? It's it's where I belong. Oh hey. <laughs> This is no way to intro the vlog. Hey y'all, it's Christmas weekend. Happy holidays. This won't matter because you're probably gonna watch this in like February or March in springtime. So uh, Christmas and spring, hey y'all. We got some fun, fun stuff planned. Seeing a few friends and uh, yeah, it'll be a friends miss. <gasps> y'all, Bo and Yang rated all of us strangers three and a half stars. But he gave May and December what, five stars? Someone explain that. Bowen, I'm gonna have you in the hashtags of my video and you're gonna have to explain yourself. Howdy y'all. Before we go, I have to talk about this real quick. Finish this last night. It is Good Behavior by Molly Keane. Thank you to Renee from So I Read This Book that gifted this to me. I had no idea that this was a holiday book. What fun in character examination. What we have is a woman who has a particular perception and you can't leave that perception where she's dealing and maneuvering through the disillusionments of her family as they are extremely going down, down, down in debt. This examination of what good behavior is in, you know, social high elite society. And it's a lot of fun moving around these different family members and it just reminds me of the holidays. Anyone else? You know, way back when, when I used to go three or four different like family holiday parties and you just have to maneuver these like wacky characters blood related to you and I very much throughout this book felt like the little kid at the little kid's table examining all these different characters interacting with each other and you wonder like what is good behavior? Am I better than all of them? Are they better than me? Through that you see our narrator Arun, I think it's pronounced, or Aaron? Arun? Aaron? Can only see the world from her eyes and how she deals with these situations and her perceptions of it. And it's entertaining, to say the least. It's uh, it's fine, fine by all means. I felt like it was too long, <laughs> but a lot happens. There's a lot of sex, surprisingly. There's a brilliant wit to everything, very darkly humored, but this was just way too long. It almost sits at 300 pages, whereas sort of the same themes are all explored in Helena DeWitt's The English Understand Wool, which was published in those uh, New Direction, like, children hardback storybook editions. That's 69 pages. 69 pages does pretty much the same thing, yet in so little, with very, very tight writing. Molly Keene is a very good writer where I think she incorporates darkness and humor very slyly, almost as if you were dancing around certain things and minding your manners and understanding good behavior between bad behavior. But I don't know, there's just something, something about the style of the writing that I just can't 
quite pierce or it doesn't really connect to me. But it's a, it's a fine read if you want a fun family drama that's disillusioned and dysfunctional. This is for you. It's, it's fun and had no idea that it was like a holiday book, so it was it was perfect. Perfect setup for my Christmas weekend. For the weekend, I have two books I hope to get through. It is Eileen by Otessa Moshfeg and Last Night at the Lobster. I'll be starting this first. This is by Stuart Onan. Just has been on my radar for a long while and excited to get through it. Hopefully I'll get through it all today and then we'll have this for Sunday and Monday because Christmas is on a Monday, which is wild. And I'll keep y'all posted. I gotta go because we are on time, which is late. Showbiz people, let's go. Bye. Hey, hey y'all, quick fit breakdown because I think I'm actually running late. So this is a uh, recto. Finally doing this because it's insulated on the inside. We got our no haunt card holder. We got a mock neck. Nope, that's a turtleneck. <laughs> Turtleneck on, and this is fun shirt. 51% jeans in this fun baby blue denim. Might do this hat, y'all. The Oscars. Bringing along last night at the Lobster will be a fun train read. Okay, yeah, going into the city. I'll, I'll keep you posted, and I hope to be a good vlogger this weekend. So uh, let's let's hustle our hoofies. Let's get to it. Y'all, truly budget queen today. I like have my suitcase and a bag and I'm taking the bus to the station? Like, who am I? <laughs> we'll do anything to save a buck. Oh, hi, hello there. I didn't see you there. We just checked in. I'm doing a staycation in the city, if anyone was wondering. I'm waiting on a friend and then I'm gonna do some lunch and then um, head to Gangnam for an exhibit at the Songen Art Center. There's a docent there, so it'll be a guided thing. And then right around the corner is a flea market. So we're gonna check that out. Yeah, meet some more friends and then go to, there's a cool exhibit at the Hermes store so we'll do that as well. And yeah, not, not quite sure what the rest of the day will bring, but <laughs> y'all, I'm almost done, like 40 pages shy of finishing. It's dirty, it's grimy, it's loserish. We have this guy working part-time, nanny, bless his heart. There's just dirty snow everywhere. Everything's going wrong and the store's closing down, but they're here. They're here at the Red Lobster and they're, they're making the most of um, their last day there while Manny is in this little situationship with a coworker that is involved with another coworker. Jealousy is in the air as well as Christmas cheer. Enjoying it. It's very atmospheric, perfect for anyone who has ever worked a holiday in their life. I've worked Christmases a few times. Muji, does anyone know? Muji is open 365 days a year, if anyone didn't know. So you can go, I don't, I don't please don't, but you can go to Muji on Christmas day, New Year's day, and there'll be people working. Sadly, I, I've worked those. It's also not time and a half, I believe. I remember I worked and I did not get time of half. In the state of California, it is not against the law, apparently. Apparently. Anyway, we're, while waiting for my friend, do some reading, unpacking, and yeah, keeping it chill, real chill. I tried to nap on the train, but I don't know why I couldn't. So I woke up at four this morning and then I couldn't like go back to sleep. 
So I was doom scrolling on TikTok. I should have read this. And then I probably would have finished it within the two hours that I was in bed. And then I didn't have to bring this with me. Because of that, I was hoping I'd catch some Z's on the train, but did not catch any Z's. And uh, here I am. I'm okay though, but I'll probably get a coffee downstairs. Yeah, it's cute. I'll leave the name of the hotel downstairs. It's really cool. It's in a very nice suburbish area in Seoul. Very quiet, very low key. And uh, there's a sound bar, really, really sexy sound system, like immaculate. The vibes are just like super sexy. It's nice, it's sleek. Does anyone want a tour? We'll do a tour, quick tour. So as soon as you walk in, you've got the desk, mini fridge down below. There's no closet space, so there's this handy dandy hook system here going on. And then directly over, you have the bed, a nice spacious bed. And what I love is this, just like, a big thing. Look, I can put like books here. If I could live here, I'd just, I'd have this like just stacked with books. Window there, TV there, and then right here is the bathroom. You have the toilet, sink. Me? <laughs> Wish the hotel came with me, didn't ya? And then shower here. Yes, and we love, we love what do you call this? I was gonna say rainforest shower. <laughs> what the fuck do you call this? Anyway, that. And what I also love is that they use melon gots. Ugh, so good. If anyone doesn't know, this shit is like gold. I just love this stuff so much. Finished lunch. <laughs> now I'm terribly late. We're gonna go meet a friend at a gallery. So doing that. Let's go.
It's I know, insane. right? I'm like the best. Hey, YouTube. Gross. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> Um, fit of the day, y'all. Recto and my sweater. And look, look at my little leather thingamajig. Oh my gosh, I was with Nathan when he was buying this. Oh god, and that's right. Was... Impulse buy. Okay, I'm wearing it. See, it's being put to use. Okay. Sandy Yanko. Just got out of Monster, and Nathan, I was a fucking Nathan mess. Nathan cried a lot. Oh, Go watch it. it. So good. Spoiler alert. Top film of 2023. <laughs> Okay, I'm done. What about the shoes? Oh, the what shoes? What are those? What are those? <laughs> They're my chanclas. <laughs> These are my Crocs. <laughs> we love Velcro, y'all. This is, it's giving. <laughs> I literally just ate, but I'm gonna go eat again, meet up some friends up for dinner, and then take the last train back to town. I just wanted to see these little lovelies before I go. Currently posted in front of the cacao store. Did you catch all that? Did you catch all that? Reading, of course, to pass time. Let's go. because reading is sexy and if you're not reading you're not sexy it is the day after christmas and sort of wanted to give a weekend recap and also to give a conclusion to the vlog because i think i'm going to stop it here but just want to say y'all these are like hot packs i don't know what's inside but there's beans in here or something and when you mush them around, it gets like really hot and this thing stays hot for like 16 hours. It's fantastic. It's like great um, night out and you're like freezing your booty off. So this came in clutch when I danced till 6 a.m. Christmas morning and 
that that was a really good night fun time good time with some cool people yeah i also wanted to say ooh, wait christmas eve saw monster by Coreda and it came with this poster and y'all i'm dumb like i should have bought the tickets online my friend like called me out for it too he's like i thought you bought tickets i thought you bought tickets i didn't um but thankfully when we got there we got there about like 30 minutes before showtime <laughs> by a christmas miracle two seats two empty seats right next to each other and they weren't like really terrible seats either so um it's great and y'all I, I cried my heart out i <laughs> i ugly cried and portions of this and this is you'll probably find out sooner than this but it's going it's going to be number one top film of 2023 i just loved this so much in terms of narrative and how it unfolds it's just such a precious childhood friend story and heartbreaking devastating absolutely wonderful what did i do yesterday christmas day i woke up at like one and had lunch at this Chinese joint and it was good. Then had uh, dinner like literally two hours after with some other friends at one of my favorite restaurants near Yongsanyok and it was, it was great. Vegan, good wine, wine selection, live music or live DJs. And then yeah I was just so pooped that I literally came home at like 10 p.m and just like knocked out. But here to tell you that I did finish last night at the lobster. Whatever my last update was about this is sort of the same. It has a very sweet, pretty bow to it, though a bit somber and sweet. This one goes out to all those holiday workers out there who aim for that time and a half just to make rent or to afford that Christmas present they want to give to someone so special but it is about the underdog. It is about a uh, working class, lower working class fam out there and sings so well with me given that I've, uh, I think I mentioned before, like I've worked holidays through my early twenties and it's for the holidays, yes. I'd say if you want a fun holiday, do David Sedaris, Holidays on Ice. If you want sort of a somber read, this is great too. I unfortunately did not finish Eileen over the weekend. I thought I would, but I did manage 98 pages by today. And oh God, y'all, this has been like such a compulsive read to me. I could like, I could not put it down um, all day today. I hope to finish it this week and it'll mark my last read of 2023, I believe. Yeah, I love this so much. It's just so atmospheric. It has this like gritty, dark, wintry feel to it, like slush dirt in the snow, very harsh winter, very New England. It's so good and grotesque in the way that the body is examined, bowel movements, you know, all the usual Moshvegian stuff. But what I enjoy about this is that, and I need to do sort of a track record, her novella is McGlue, and I feel like McGlue walked so Eileen could run. I think they sort of have the same atmospheric tone to them. I feel like McGlue definitely has a lyricism. I don't know if that was sort of the sailor song uh, momentum that she wanted to build with that. There's way too much alliteration and way too much lyricism, but it is heavy in atmosphere. And I think she carried that over into this. And the lyricism sort of ends. There are portions where uh, there is a bit of song to some of the sentences, but here I think she is a lot more focused on the interiority and character building and world building of our protagonist, Eileen, or anti-protagonist if you'd like to call her, but I love this so much. It doesn't have, I think, the sort of humor that I enjoy in her later work where her seriousness still exists, because McGlue, I find, is a very a serious book. There's too much seriousness in it. There are moments where I think um, it's like crass, but I, I don't think it's funny. And here, the crassness has sort of mellowed out or is spiked a bit where there are parts where it's fun, a bit darkly humored. Um, but yeah, I am loving this so much. It's fitting the weather perfectly, um, given that the streets are sloshed with yucky, yucky snow, and I I think this is going to be a very good, hard four-star read for me. Those are the updates, y'all. 
Ooh, if anyone, look at this beautiful Namjoon Peck poster that I got at the movie theater. There's also this Ryuchi Sakamoto one too. I'm, I hope I'm becoming a better vlogger. Let me know if anyone cares. If you enjoy voiceovers over the montages, that's something I've been thinking about. I, I wanna become a better storyteller in the video format. I feel like I'm fine, like I do an okay job. I'm not like the best vlogger out there, y'all. That's what I wanna do. Anyway. Love y'all. I hope you had a lovely holiday and you're probably gonna watch this in March or something. So this won't make any sense. But Christmas and spring, why not? Hey. I'm done talking because I should really shut up and just like get on with my life right now. Love y'all. Be well, do good work, keep in touch.